Tracking and understanding customer behavior in your online shop is very important for your e-commerce success. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can use the built-in Google Analytics integration to track your users. Have fun! Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's Alexander from Shop Studio and let's set up the basic Google Analytics integration. As always, I'm located in the Shopware Administration dashboard. There's one thing to note. The Google Analytics integration is defined per sales channel basis. For example, if we go to here to Storefront, here you can see the Analytics tab and here we, you can see the Google Analytics card. And if you make changes here, it does not affect the other channels. And this is of course a good thing. Imagine, for example, you are a shop owner and you are managing three shops with one backend. And of course, you want to have different Google Analytics properties, aka connections, so you can track all the necessary data independently. The most important part is that we find out the tracking ID. So we go to Google Analytics. We have to create a new property in case we haven't one. So we click here on Setup Assistant, on Create Property, and here we can create a new name. In this case, it's YouTube Tutorial. The time zone's more or less correct for this tutorial and the currency as well. We click now on Next, and here we can yeah, give some information to Google, other, create. Perfect. Now we have to choose a platform. In our case, it's Shopware 6, thus we need a web connection. Now we have to enter the website URL and the stream name. I have entered all the information and now we click on create stream. Perfect. On the top right side, you can see the measurement ID and this is our required tracking ID. If you are using Google Analytics version 4, aka GA4, it always starts with a G. At least I only know this variant. We click on copy and we now go back to our shopware administration and we entered our copied ID. We click on activate Google Analytics. Of course, we want to track orders and in Europe, it's very important to anonymize the IP. Perfect, we click on save now and that's basically it. We have now set up a basic Google Analytics connection. Now we have to test it. To test the new connection, we just have to click through the shop, adding products to the cart or making purchases. And then under the read time section of Google Analytics, we can see if the events like page views, add to cart, etc. are coming in. But do not forget to accept the cookie consent. Here under statistics, you can see that Google Analytics is located. And if you don't check this checkbox, it won't work, of course. The first test, we go to the clothing page. It could be like any page. And now we go back to the Google Analytics and check under reports, read time, if the data is coming in. So we can see we have one user here from, should be Germany, yes, Germany, Hamburg, that's correct. And we can see that we have some events here. So basically this is fine and we can see we are currently on the clothing page and this is correct. And for example, if I go now to sports, we can later a little bit and then the page should refresh itself automatically. It is working. We can see here now that somebody is located on the sports page, which is of course fitting. Perfect. Let's test the other events. Just one note from my side. I'm not sure if it's documented well somewhere in the internet, but if you're using the Google Analytics integration, which ships with Shopware, there are some events, of course, like purchase, because we can see here uh, track orders, but I have looked up in the source code and I can, for example, see that we have the add to cart event, which is available, begin checkout, checkout progress, login, purchase, remove from cart, search, sign up, view item, view item list, and view search. So basically we can test some of those events. 
For example, to test the search event, we click just on the search bar on the top and we enter, for example, main. We leave it for now and go, for example, to the main product. We click on add to shopping cart and now the add to cart should have been triggered. We proceed to the checkout. Now we have to enter all the uh, shipping information. I have entered all the information. Now we can see an error. Shipping to the selected shipping address is currently not possible. This should be because here we can see Germany. Probably Germany is not enabled. Click on save and now the message is gone. I click on I have read and accepted the general terms and conditions, paid in advance. And now I submit the test order. And we can see, thank you for your order. Now we go back to the Google Analytics real time overview and we can see some new events. We have here the login event. This was because uh, I already had an account, so I could log in to buy the product. We can see the view item list. We can see the add to cart event, which is correct. We can see the checkout progress event. And if I go to the next page, we have begin checkout. This is the search one. Maybe you can remember, for example, we have a search for main. And now we can see the last event, the purchase event. We have some more information here, like currency and the value, of course. And in this case was 495 and 95 cents. One more note from my side. Do not forget that it can take 24 or even 48 hours until Google Analytics has process all the events. So they are available everywhere else in the application, for example, in reportings. This was the end of the tutorial. Hopefully you have learned a little bit and of course connected your Shopware 6 store with Google Analytics. In case you haven't done it, do not forget to subscribe to the channel or leave a comment or review below. We see us in the next tutorial. Bye.